I am pleased to welcome Jeff McDonald, co-owner of the Roost Lounge, and Andrea Heck, the operations manager for Tools for Tomorrow. They're here to tell us about Christmas in July. It's going to benefit Tools for Tomorrow. Let's start there. Tell folks briefly what Tools for Tomorrow is and does. Tools for Tomorrow is an after-school arts literacy program. We do creative writing, drama, music, and art. After school, once a week, we have two 15-week programs in the elementary schools, grade three through five. Um, and it's an opportunity for the kids to be creative, collaborate, and really be successful in the classroom. It's a great program. We've touched the lives of a lot of kids, and this little fundraiser is going to be a lot of fun. It takes place on July 25th, and you're going to have some special things going on at the Roost starting early. Yes, uh, you wake up Christmas morning, come on down to the Roost July 25th. We have Divas on the dance floor, a breakfast brunch going on from uh, 11 until 2. Um, then we flip over the, the bar area and we'll have our Christmas traditional dinner um, provided by Trilusa Restaurant. Um, and we have um, all six of our performers that will be for, per, performing that day. Um, and it kind of gives you a little taste of what the Roost is doing and all the funds that are raised throughout the morning and afternoon and the evening goes for Tools for Tomorrow. Well, it's great to have you on to talk about the event for Tools for Tomorrow, but we, we love live entertainment and arts in the community, and the Roost has uh, live entertainment several nights a week. You get some great performers in there. We, we really do, and this little performance on Christmas Eve night, um, July 25th, kind of showcases all six of the performers. Um, so you get about a 20, 30 minute set um, of each of our six performers throughout the evening. You'll have a wonderful Christmas dinner, um, and it just kind of shows you what the Roost is all about, as well as providing an opportunity, like I said, to give back to Tools for Tomorrow and raise some funds for these kids that are going back to school. Yeah, we got to get ready for kids being back in school, but Tools for Tomorrow has done a great job over the years. You know, arts funding has sort of gone up and gone down, and uh, Tools for Tomorrow steps in and, and helps these kids in places where perhaps they don't get those kinds of programming anymore. Yeah, and it's been a particularly rough year with COVID, the kids being at home. We were able to pivot and provided all of our programs online last year. Uh, so we're excited to be back in the classroom this year. We expect to have 12 programs in the classrooms and then, uh, and then one theater program. And then we'll also have one online program so we continu can continue to bring in the kids who do not have the program at their school. That's, it's such a great program and you can support it by and, and have a lot of fun doing it. Uh, the Divas on the dance floor in the morning and a traditional Christmas dinner in the evening and great entertainment at the Roost. Uh, it takes place the 25th and all of the proceeds benefit Tools for Tomorrow 760 507-8495 or we'll put the information up on KESQ.com. You can register and enjoy Christmas in July and help out Tools for Tomorrow. Thank you both for being here. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for having us. Our pleasure.